Hi, friends. This is Julia, the pastor of Trinity Episcopal Cathedral in the heart of downtown San Jose with this week's short take for your prayer and reflection. You know, in this season of Lent, when I am daily pondering Jesus's fateful journey toward the cross, I'm reminded that the God who joyfully created all living things never desires death. But sometimes death is the only route towards fullness of life for others, as in the case of Jesus's triumph on the cross, which opened the way of eternal life for all of us. In the Christian tradition, we call people who give their lives for their faith martyrs, which curiously had nothing to do with dead people in the original Greek, rather a martyr was someone who offered a witness or a testimony, sometimes, but not commonly, at the cost of their life. Oscar Romero, martyred Archbishop of El Salvador, whose Saints Day the Episcopal Church remembers this week, surely didn't set out to be a martyr. But he was, like any good pastor, a champion for the impoverished Salvadoran people in his care. And when the circumstances of his country demanded that he defend their dignity and their rights as children of God, even at the risk of his own life, he did not shrink from the task. Oscar Romero was assassinated in 1980 while celebrating mass in San Salvador. What is our faithful witness today? Remember that a martyr in the Greek sense says or does something that brings life and freedom to others. Martyrdom can cost a whole life, but faithful witness can also be as simple and as powerful as a gift to someone in need, a kind word, a hug, or a reminder of God's abiding love.